plans. Um, so where were you on the day of the evacuation? We was actually here, but we was coming back from Morrison's okay. um, as the police had shut the top half off. Um, and we was like, can we go down? And we was like, no, sorry, you can't go down there. And we was like, but we've got a business down there. And then they did say to us, right, we'll let you through for five minutes, the dam's about to go. So we've got a dog here to get the dog. So we've got here, we've got our stuff, and we, we've actually got a home, so we went home yeah. for a bit, so yeah. And did you feel like the, the dam was going to go? Yeah. yeah, at first I didn't realise that, because you don't, you just think, right, a bit of a flood, whatever, but then over the months she started to realise that there was body bags waiting up at the top and everything for us, so yeah, it did become a lot scarier as you learn more about it. If they think the dam's going to go, well, the dam is just up the road opposite. Yeah. So we would have been deluged, and washed away, because the river's at the back. So did you believe that it was going to burst? Yes, everybody was convinced, and it was very close. Yeah. I added silly things like uh, putting the biscuits up where the water couldn't be. How would you describe where you're in one word? Friendly. Friendly? Friendly. Right. Yeah, and this guy just came in and said, if I were you, I would go. <laughs> he said, I don't understand why you two are still like here. Yeah, because we didn't have a clue. Pictures on Facebook, I went, oh yeah, how's Edwin? Oh yeah, I have. And he went, what are you still doing <laughs> sat here then? Yeah. We didn't have a clue. Yeah. Anyway, he just said if I were you would just disappear very quick, so we did. And did that make you worry when he oh, was yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't know anything, do you? Of course. We knew it was bad because we'd seen the night before because we had floods around the back here. Did you believe the dam had a good possibility of bursting? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we it's scary. Describe Whaley Bridge in one word. Oh it's lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely little village, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah to describe Whaley Bridge um, you know some people have said lovely community friendly things like that what would you describe Whaley Bridge absolutely lovely I came in February and I've made some really good friends up here so it is a lovely community um, so where were you on the day of the evacuation uh, I was in here okay yeah I actually stopped at a policeman in a car he was just sort of turning around and sort of just waved him down sort of said, yeah, can you tell me what's going off? Because there were lots of people about sort of just looking at the phones. Of course, yeah. So yeah. Was... Trying to find out online what Yeah, what exactly trying to find was out going what was going on. off, yeah. I had to phone my husband and sort of say, you know, um, he needs to come and pick me up because I think we're down. He said, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I said, oh, I just need to bring everything in and sort some things out. He said, just shut the door and go. Said, yeah. Don't, don't mess about. He said, because if it goes, it's... Were you worried? Yes, I was, yeah, because I thought it was sort of imminent within the next few minutes. So I just gathered all my belongings, my cat and my dog, and uh, headed out. You know, we had taxis waiting for us to uh, take us to our destinations, and we were gone within 15, 20 minutes. And did you see the Chinook or Chinook? Oh, yeah, it was going past the house at regular intervals. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was um, quite exhilarating watching it, going backwards and forwards, yeah. Describe Whaley Bridge in one word. 